Hello guys, welcome. Uh, this is a new tutorial uh, where I will going to show you uh, how you can create uh, round objects uh, with SketchUp. For that, uh, we are going to create a soda bottle and a coffee mug. Okay. Uh, as you can see, I have already SketchUp opened. The first thing that I want you to do is to make sure that you have the large toolset enabled. That is because we are going to use those tools over here, like follow me tool, and um, they will not appear on the default toolbar. To do that, just click with the right button of the mouse on the toolbar and make sure that you have the large toolset selected. Okay? Now that you know this, uh, the next thing that you need to do is to remove uh, this guy over here because we are not going to need them. And uh, we need now to import uh, our bottle to, to, to the scene, uh, the picture of our bottle to the scene, so that we can uh, create it. I have downloaded uh, one from the internet that I will place on the description of the video. Is this one over here. And to import it to Blender, you just need to drag and drop it. Uh, but first, uh, uh, let's uh, put on the on the front view because we are going to design this silhouette, and uh, it's better for us if uh, we can use the front view. Make sure that you have not perspective. Make sure that you you have parallel projection selected. Okay, and then go to the place where you have the picture. In my case, is the desktop drag and drop it to SketchUp, okay? Now, uh, the next step is to center it on the screen. Let's use the move tool, this little arrows over here, and let's place it on the center. You don't need to be very perfect. I think that is good. And now we can start modeling uh, our bottle. The first thing that we need to do, as I told you before, is to design the silhouette. And to start doing that, uh, we are going to use the line tool over here. This pencil, select it, and let's make two lines with an angle of 90 degrees. Okay? Now that we have this, uh, as you can see, uh, the bottom of the of the bottle is rounded, so we need to make uh, this curve over here. And to do that, we are going to use the two-point arc tool. Um, if you are new to SketchUp, uh, sometimes I, I'm not saying that it will gonna be difficult, but uh, it will gonna be a little bit tricky to work with those tools. Uh, the advice that I can tell you is to practice. Uh, you will only understand how these tools work perfectly if you practice, okay? I will show you the basics and how you can do uh, curves with them and lines and etc. Et but uh, you only uh, you need to uh, practice a lot to understand how they work, okay? So let's make the the round on the bottom just click maybe here and then click on the second point and now that i have two points selected as you can see this tool allows me to draw an arc okay i will make it smaller i think that is is good but now we have those two lines that we don't want and we need to remove for that you can use the rubber or let me undo this you can use the the point mouse select the lines and press the delete key okay now that we have the base created uh, let's continue let's make those curves over here and for that we are going to use again the two point arc tool okay so click here and let me just increase it a little bit. 
click here and then maybe here select the arc that you want to do I think that is too much no not good and do let's do it again that's perfect and again and now I'm sorry and now let's use the pencil tool again the line tool with the pencil on the icon and let's go up here okay now we have a curve again so let's use the two point arc tool okay that's perfect and then over here and now let's use the line again and let's move now to the two point arc to do this and this and now the top okay now that we have reached the top um, we need to close this shape uh, I will gonna show you later why uh, but uh, that is because uh, we need to add some thickness to the bottle uh, all bottles all, all glass bottles have some thickness on it and to do that first we need to close the shape so with the line tool click here I'm sorry I have the arc tool selected click here and here and then on the bottom okay now as you can see it have became white inside that's because our shape is closed and it has some some face on it and now let's add some thickness to the bottle for that we are going to use this tool over here that is called offset Okay, click on one edge and then drag and drop it with the size that that you want okay I will increase it a little more to have more control I think that is good okay and now we just we are just going to need this part over here of the bottle we can remove all the rest so the first thing that we need to do is to close close it down here okay so let's select the line to and draw a line over here as you can see and now let's make the same to the top click on the line tool and the end point you're gonna be here okay now let's select the rubber tool and erase all the things that we don't need okay and now we have the silhouette of the bottle um, uh, created the next step is we can go now to 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 we can exit now to front view mode and we can delete the picture okay and uh, we want uh, this shape to be uh, basically a, a cylinder okay so um, all we need to do is uh, first create uh, a circle over here make sure that the circle is going to be created on the z axis and move it down a little bit okay and now that we have our circle created we are going to use the follow me tool to do that that make sure that you have 
the circle selected, click on the tool and then click on the shape that you have designed. OK? And now, as you can see, we have our bottle. Let's move it to perspective so that you can see. It's a very simple shape, it's very easy. And now let's do it again. Let's do the coffee mug, okay? And to do that, let's return to the front view, select parallel projection, and then as you can see, it will gonna be much easier. All you need to do is to create a rectangular, a rectangle with this tool over here. Okay, and now with the two point R2, let's select this corner over here. Okay, and then with the offset, let's create one edge over here, and then the same process of the bottle. Let's create those two lines over here, remove all the rest, ok, and now let's go to the top, make sure that you have the two point arc selected, ok, let's remove this line. And now, with the select tool, let's select the top, go to the move tool and let's move it a little bit on the red axis, ok? I think that this is too large, so I will gonna do the, the same for the base, select those uh, that edge and with the move tool, move it a little bit, ok? Now let's move all the shape far away from the bottle because I don't want it to interfere with that. OK. And now the process is the same. Select a circle tool. OK. Increase it a little bit. Make sure that you have the circle selected and click on. Okay, now we have the coffee mug, but let's make the handle, so let's go to the front view again, okay, you can draw a line over here, and then with the arc tool, let's draw an arc. That's good. Now let's remove this line. Okay. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Let's go to the left view. I'm sorry, to the right view. And now let's draw a circle over here. Now all, you, all we need to do is use the same tool, okay, now that we have the handle, let's move it first and uh, to avoid that those two objects uh, merge each other, uh, I surely advise you to make some groups first, select the cap with the right click of the mouse and make group. The same for the handle and now let's go to the front view and let's move it over here let's rotate it a little bit okay sorry
and that's it uh, we have uh, our bottle and our coffee mug created this was a, a very simple tutorial mm, i hope that uh, you have liked it and uh, please uh, you sh should uh, practice uh, those tools over here so that you can uh, work uh, better with them and to make uh, some more uh, sophisticated shapes i hope that you have liked it uh, please subscribe my channel if you do uh, and i hope to see you soon